Hey everyone, I'm actually in Tiger Brook Park in Chester and there's some pretty cool plants just growing out in the wild. Things like wild raspberry, which are actually either wine berries or wild black raspberries, as well as this plant called heal all, which you are able to pretty much make like a tea or just eat the young plant for benefits. Uh, there's also some ginseng, I think, wild American ginseng, which in case you were wondering, ginseng does actually grow in America. And it's kind of funny because if you're not sure if it's ginseng, Virginia creeper looks kind of like ginseng, but creeper is a vine and ginseng is in fact a root. And if you look at the leaves, if it just looks like it's growing a single leaf out of the ground that is possibly ginseng. The other way to know is if you pull it out and you see the rhizome, which everyone knows as the ginseng component that you drink in some teas or have as a herbal supplement, but I'm actually standing in front of some wild raspberries at this point, and this is how you would know a raspberry or not. It has like three leaves on what looks like a stalk and it's spiky including on the bottom like this. This is actually wineberry. Wineberry has white undersides to the leaves as well as the wild raspberry fruit which is somewhere over there. If you can see the little red thing on this screen that's that's the wild raspberry. There's also, as you would expect, some poison ivy, though I haven't really spotted it yet, and there's also some wild strawberries that I may have found. It's possible that they are also false strawberries. And if you can hear people in the background, that's actually my family and dogs playing around. Now a cool thing about wild strawberries is there's actually a imposter that looks almost identical to strawberries and they're, well they're called false strawberries and if you compare the fruit, the, the false strawberry almost looks more bumpy whereas the actual strawberry may be small and standard bumpiness but it doesn't look as like raised bumpy with the seeds if that made any sense. Trying to find a example of heal all for you because I've found it in several places around this park. If you're in Chester and you go to this park there's some heal all just in the entrance to this park from Cooper Lane and here is some wild strawberry you can see the yellow flower. There's actually a bunch of other plants on the ground, which I am not so sure about. And there's also several trees, as you can kind of see behind me. I'm not the best with trees, but I know there are some oak, some maple, some birch, some sycamore, and several other plants that are trees and several interesting plants that I currently don't know the name of but there's several grasses around here there's I think it's like Japanese stick grass which is like everywhere even though it is a Japanese named plant it's kind of all over new uh, well New Jersey forests as well as North American forests Though specifically in places where they actually have forests, not the middle of the desert in, say, Texas. And this is actually the grass I'm talking about. And if you're familiar with walking around in forests, you probably see it. It kind of... It's like a grass that almost looks like the leaves of bamboo, which I guess could be why it's called stick grass because it's 
almost like bamboo sticks. And then here's another plant that's wild and it's a, I believe it's semi-invasive and it is called the multiflora rose. And unfortunately there's no flowers, but if anyone knows roses, this is definitely a rose. And if you see a lot of jump cuts, I am still getting used to this camera. But there are a wide variety of plants, and if I were to list every plant that's in this small area of the forest, this video would be hours long because it would take me a while. And actually, just as I'm talking about this, I found a little bit of that heal all plant. It is these purple flowers like this. Flowers to me almost look like mini snapdragons and they don't actually snap like little snapdragons. They are just little flowers. There's also several clover species here that if you look and no clovers, you would know that there are several clovers in this area. It's almost as much of a ground cover as any grass. Here's a plant I'm pretty sure I know the name of. It's this purple flower. It's not heal all. It's definitely something else and if I come up with its name I will update it in the in this video. I will put a little Identify, uh, uh, identifying subtitle on it. Sorry about that. My One of my dogs came at me and I accidentally ended that section of the video, but I actually found out that it is chicory. That little light purple flower here is chicory. And chicory root is actually another one of those herbal supplements. I actually forget what the uses are, but I may explain in another video all of the medicinal benefits of all these different plants that I find. And as you can see in all the little videos of plants that I find, there, there's a lot of grass in the, in the background, and grass to many people is not exciting. But if you were in turf grass science, the kind of other side of my major, you probably would be like, oh my god, that's this and this grass, that's this and this grass, so on and so forth. Just found the ginseng that I was talking about. And as you can see, it looks very much like Virginia creeper, but if you look closer to the ground, it's like separate leaves, not a not like a vine. Well, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Stay insane. Keep green. See you in the next one, and like, comment, and subscribe.